This is the church building that we had uh, church in on uh, Wednesday night. It's now Saturday morning. It's the, the day after the uh, hurricane. And the winds came from the south, which is behind me, across this beautiful valley. And the winds came from that direction. Blew hard against this wall. And uh, you can see that, that uh, it just blew it all down. And then once the wind got in the building, the roof went. And the roof is, uh, opa. the roof is laying way over there in the distance. Walk there a little bit. In those trees and behind those trees in a person's backyard. That's the roof of the building, about 300 feet away. And uh, here is the orphan school. And over there is the roof in the distance. So I have a problem. In 2009, they built a church building right there. And then the earthquake hit and it fell down. And then just after the earthquake this year, they built this new building. And, uh, and now the hurricane comes and knocks it down. So as you can see, we're on a hillside and there's no protection from the southwest. Where hurricanes come from it's they're a little disheartened and they don't know what they're going to do and they don't want to build on this property again because there's no protection and it's quite a walk to the to, to get to the orphanage as well so we need to pray for money for some land uh, closer to the orphanage it's enough land to build a church on build an orphanage on and build a school on Here's some more of the roof here. They take care of uh, 32 children in the orphanage. They feed 57 as well outside of the orphanage that, in order to keep them living with their families. Uh, and so that's almost 100 children that they take care of. You can see this, this palm tree blew over 